Uh, just one quick little tip when doing stuff like this. Get yourself some baggies, a little permanent marker, and label and write down a little note for all the pieces you take apart. And snap some pictures. I'll be recording everything, so I'll have some video to go back and look at. But that should help you along the way. One quick note, because I didn't do much recording for the rear subframe brace, it's literally two bolts to uh, take off and then put back on to put the subframe brace in. The On the opposite side of the nut you remove is a bolt, and that bolt is how you adjust the alignment of the vehicle. So you want to get yourself a marker that you can see on a black subframe or a paint pen, and you want to put a mark on that washer that goes straight down and then onto the subframe. And that way, when you remove that nut, if that bolt is to get moved in any way, you can follow that line and get your alignment back pretty close. But anytime you do any of this, you're going to want to take the car to get it aligned afterwards anyway. It's not in the instructions, but just do yourself a favor. I only really recommend removing this rear uh, support brace. This has six bolts. Just get it out of the way. And then you have full access to all of that. I thought you could take these three bolts out and remove this sandwich plate, but it's actually welded on the side, so you can't. And then if you have the same situation as me, I did not get the two shorter bolts for here, like the instructions say I should have gotten, because the factory bolts actually hit this, and you can't um, fit the subframe brace in. I ended up just cutting the factory ones off of the hacksaw so that the subframe br brace would fit. I had to adjust it a little bit more to get it back close to spec. I'm still going to get the car aligned after. But if you do have one of these that gets out of whack when you're installing this, the nut to adjust it is on this back side and it will pull this whole arm in and out to get your toe back within your mark. 